Lord spoke to me a week ago, and I wrote it down, so I'm going to read it to you, the impression I got. I see a fresh tilled field, and that is ready for planting. Previously, this ground was hardened, and over the field is a question, what will you choose to do with it? The freshly tilled ground represents the miraculous work of the Lord. This is the ground that was once hardened and overran, over, overran with fear, rebellion, sickness, loneliness, and anger. And the Lord has broken those things over your life. This ground has been broken to show you the willingness and kindness of the Lord to give you a hope for a different harvest for the future. God wants to redeem the land, and I believe both internally and externally, he has presented an opportunity of a different harvest. The choice is set before us, and I see this useless, desolate field becoming a field of a great harvest. So sow seeds of courage to be obedient, seeds of, for compassion for the lost, seeds of forgiveness of those who don't deserve forgiveness, seeds of surrender to the Lord, it takes courage to sow your resources in a land that was once barren. And the Lord is going to reward your faith. The man who is able to plant in faith will change the course of his family lines. Now this is a time of planting and waiting. And the waiting will be the hardest part. To be patient in the waiting will affect the harvest. So plant and trust. Diligently plant and wait for the Lord. Wait with the, the word of faith in your heart. And so I end with this. Plant, wait, and hold to faith for a different future. Colossians 3 says, Whatever you do, work with all of your heart as you're working for the Lord and not human masters, since you know that, uh, that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. Galatians 6 says this, it says, don't be deceived, God's not going to be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whatever, sow, whatever he sows in the flesh, from the flesh he will reap destruction. And whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. So let us not become weary in doing good, for in the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Now, I feel like God has a common theme kind of threading through all of these, even though there's nuances to each one of it. And it's this, there is a great opportunity before you. Great opportunity to say yes to God. A great opportunity to let him use you in his work and to not miss the time that he has for you. A great opportunity to seek him like you've never sought him before. And a great opportunity to have fruit in your life but we need to respond. And so could we just all stand up out of our seats? And we do this at Koinonia quite a bit. We raise our hands. There's a couple different ways you could raise your hands. There's the receiving posture. There's the surrendering posture. But we're just going to raise our hands in kind of a sign for both. Okay? Saying, God, you could have whatever you want. We surrender to you this morning. And so, Father, we, we surrender to you, we empty our hands, but we also have positioned our hands to receive what you have for us. And so, God, we lay down everything that we are and say, God, you can have it all. You can touch every part of our life, every resource, every talent, every treasure that we have. And so, God, we give it to you. And we ask you, Father, that this would be a season where we put our hands to the plow. God, that we would put our hands to the sowing of seed. Let us not give up in doing good this year, God. Help us not to, to, to plant seeds of fear, God, and plant uh, seeds of, of, of failure, God, and plant seeds of all these things that bring destruction. But let us be planters, God, of the good things of the Lord. Let us be planters, God, of faith. Let us be planters of courage. Let us be planters, God, uh, uh, of resources. Let us be planters for the kingdom and the Holy Spirit. And so, God, we just shift our mind right now, ready to work, ready to be in the fields, ready to plant. And so, God, help us to be people who keep our eyes focused upon you. Help us after the time of planting, God, that we would be good waiters, God. God, help us to hold on and not give up 
For we know, Father, that your future, that the kingdom reality is right around the corner. The kingdom reality is for those who don't give up. The kingdom reality, Father, is for those who keep sowing seed. Even though we don't may see it right away, God, we keep sowing, knowing that you, Father, will bring a great harvest. And so, Father, we surrender to you, and we're ready to receive what you have. And I pray this in 